Hello. Here we're going to look at, look at finding the derivative of a function using first principles. So if you remember, first principles was that thing we did last year that took forever and it found us the answer and then we learned a shortcut and we wondered why we ever used it. That's first principles. But you need to know it. It's on a study design. I've never seen it on a past exam. I've never seen a question that asks you to do this, but it is on a study design, so you will need to know it. Um, let's start with a function. f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x. And suppose the question says, find f dash of x using first principles. Well, let's use the shortcut first. I'm going to use the shortcut. Um, 4x minus 3 is the answer. So if we do that whole process correctly, um, we should get 4x minus 3. First step, write the formula. You must know this formula, and I'm going to read it out as I write it. f dash of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h must know that formula. Very important. That formula is calculus. That is where every single derivative comes from. So that video before where we had all those weird derivatives and we wondered, hey, that doesn't make sense. Like, where does it come from? You can derive them all from here if you wanted to. But we don't have time for that and it's not on the course. So let's answer this question. Um, well, f dash of x equals the limit, so h approaches 0, of f of x plus h. So this means replace every instance of x with an instance of x plus h. Um, so that will look like this. So you can see I rewrote this, except instead of x, I'm writing x plus h. Um, then minus, I like to do a big bracket after that minus, uh, f of x, which is this function. Finally, that is all divided by h. All right, expand and group like terms. Limit as h approaches zero. Well, because we know binomial theorem now, uh, we know that that's going to become x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Don't even have to think about that anymore. We don't have to think about that either. There we are. Um, and let's expand this bracket. Limit as h approaches 0. So that's 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h minus 2x squared plus 3x all divided by h. Okay, keep going. Limit as h approaches 0. Um, let's do some cancelling. Minus 3x and 3x, they cancel out. 2x squared and negative 2x squared, they cancel out. Anything else cancel out? Nope. We're left with 4hx plus 2h squared minus 3h all over h. All right, some people just uh, cancel the h's. I prefer you factorize first. Um, and the reason, I don't know, it just kind of looks neater. I can't, you're not wrong if you cancel straight away. Um, I'm just telling you how I prefer to see it. Um, take out the h. You get 4x plus 2h minus 3 over h. Um, but when you do this cancelling, you must write h doesn't equal 0. No debate there. You must do that. That is very, very, very important. Because when you cancel, um, you're not allowed to do that if those equal 0. So make that statement. And then that equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus 2h minus 3. 
let's remember what's happening here. I'm going to do a little example of a limit as a side note. Let's say I evaluate the limit as h approaches 3 of this quantity h. Well, to work out that limit, you can just sub that in. So h is approaching 3, um, sub in 3, the answer to that is 3. So over here, you're going to sub in h equals 0, and that will get rid of the limit. So let's write 4x plus 2, bracket 0, minus 3. That goes away. Cancel that. And you're left with 4x minus 3, which is the correct answer. That's how you find the derivative from first principles. You can find the derivative of sine of x using this with um, a bit of specialist maths knowledge and the derivative of the natural log of x. Um, yeah, it all can be proven with this formula, which is really cool. And if you have been, thank you for watching.